verdad, lo sabes y persistes, se ríe de ti. You have roamed and you know nothing. It licks you and the scent of orphanhood impregnates you. You know it and you persist. It laughs at you. Pero conoces que su ombligo es una angustia multiplicada en otra, multiplicada en otra, que hiere más profundo que su potente risa. Jamás pudiste ver y lo soportas todo. Definitivamente estás maldito. But you know that its navel is anguish, multiplied into another, multiplied into another, that wounds more deeply with its potent laugh. You could never see and you endure it all. You are forever damned. Si conocieras los círculos concéntricos, si conocieras lo que dice el paladar y su terrible comba de sonidos asustados, de monstruos sigilosos, de sílabas que astillan lo que no vas a decir porque tú no eres ella, revelándose, confiándote que existe, que te busca, que la buscas, por dentro de sí misma, por dentro de tu boca, podrías comprender a dónde vas desesperado. If you were familiar with the concentric circles, if you knew what the palate says in its terrible chamber of scared sounds from stealthy monsters, from syllables that splinter into what you will not say because you are not her, showing herself, trusting what exists and searches for you as you search for her inside of yourself, inside of your mouth, you would be able to comprehend, you would be able to comprehend where you are desperately going. Los ojos no te sirven y el mar se niega a regalarte espejos. Por eso tienes vértigo, intuición, adivinanza. Por eso te dan ganas de existir como por un capricho de la voz que te abandona cuando llegas al final de una palabra sin principio, sin fronteras, sin lugar para seguir buscando y escuchando ecos. El viaje representa la verdad de tu sonido. Your eyes fail you, and the sea refuses to grant you reflections. That's why you have an addled intuition conundrum. That's why they gave you the desire to exist as if on the whim of the voice that abandons you when you arrive at the end of a word without a beginning, without a border, without a place to go on searching and hearing echoes. The journey represents the truth of your sound. No tienes paladar. La perfección te anula. You don't have a palate. The perfection negates you. Jamás has visto la belleza y no confías. Sin embargo, estás a punto de llegar. You have never seen beauty and you don't confide. Nevertheless, you are on the verge of arrival. A fuerza de mirar un círculo y su centro multiplicado en otro, a fuerza de buscarla y vas a entrar a caminar sobre tu lengua para encontrar que el centro es una angustia, que nunca has dicho nada, que nunca dices nada, que siempre estás oculto bajo el paladar porque ella te ha mentido, revelándose, llegando, diciéndote que existes más allá de tu sonido, de su terrible y combo paladar que te promete antílopes y monstruos delicados que llegarán a ti, que parten de su ombligo porque te estás muriendo y nada más tienes palabras. Hoy vas a entrar. Hoy voy a entrar. Definitivamente estás maldito. By virtue of watching a circle in its center multiplied into another, by virtue of searching for it, today you will enter to walk about your tongue, to find that the center is anguish that you have never said anything that you never say, nothing, that you are always shrouded beneath the palate because she has lied to you, showing herself, appearing, telling you that you exist beyond your sound, beyond your terrible and bent palate, as she promises you antelopes and delicate monsters that will come to you, that burst from your navel because you are dying and you have nothing but words. Today you will enter, today I will enter, You're forever damned. Um, well, uh, 
this is done, but uh, I hope we do more of these. Uh, I really want to do something like this. Um, I think uh, maybe a little, add a little to what uh, my mom said earlier about uh, poetry being an extension of love or sort of, um, and for me, uh, the poetry is, I don't know, I, I'm excited to kind of do anything like this where people get together, especially people um, that, what's that? Cool people. Cool people. <laughs> that have, you know, interest and that live in the same community and that might not knock into each other normally. And, and um, I, I think anything that we do, regardless of what the pretext or whatever it is, um, is kind of an important thing and a really cool gesture. Um, so, yes, I, I do love poetry, but more than anything, I just love meeting people. Um, and doing something in Cincinnati that, uh, I don't know, doesn't happen very often and I don't really, I, don't, I, think, it's, uh, I think that's more important than anything. Um, but anyway, uh, I think this is a really beautiful evening. We could have asked for a better, every seat is full. So um, thank you very, very, very much. Um, check CS13 out. We have a Facebook thing. Um, and, uh, <laughs> and we have other things. There's other ways to get in touch with this gallery, but uh, we hope to be doing lots and lots of cool, interesting things like this. Um, and uh, again, I want to thank Manuel uh, so much for uh, helping me do this, and, and he I mean, it was a really 50-50 effort. We, he, you know, it was wonderful. So um, thanks to all the poets again, and thank you for everyone for coming. Good night. Hooray!